Hey guys, Ultimate Immersion here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install my EMB preset that was based on photorealistic EMB and adjust the settings for you to achieve the same visuals as shown in the video. Keep in mind that in order to achieve this, you will also need to install our complete Fallout 4 mod list as the weather and lighting mods complement with the EMB to form this final result. You can find the link to the mod list installation video in the description below or head over to our website eso-ui.com slash fallout4 where you can find everything you need to achieve the same results. This tutorial only consists of three steps but I will put timestamps with links below anyways to make this more convenient for you. Before we begin we'd like to ask you for your support to keep this project alive. We work really hard to bring you these mod lists and all the future content we have planned. It's really expensive to run the website and everything is going from our pockets at the moment to bring you this. You can support us on our website by making a donation on the mod list page. If you decide to help us out, we want to thank you in advance. In the first and most basic step, that most of you are already familiar of, we will download the core EMB files. You can skip to the next step if you already know how to do this. We will head over to embdev.com website, go to downloads page and under Fallout 4 download the latest version of the EMB core files. Open the package, select the wrapper version and copy the files into the Fallout 4 game folder. Now we're going to install the photorealistic EMB from the Nexus Mods website. You can find the link to the EMB on our website in Fallout 4 mod list page. Download the latest EMB manually. Open the package and copy the files into the game folder the same way we did it in the previous step with core files and click replace all. Next, we're going to manually download my Ultimate Immersion Photorealistic Commonwealth preset on the same page. Open the package and again copy the content in the same game folder. Replace every file and folder when asked. Make sure you have natural and atmospheric Commonwealth weather mod installed. And it's really important that you keep the vanilla climate settings on the first run pop-up window. So this is everything you need for this EMB installation. Your game should now look exactly like on the video here. As an optional step you can also increase saturation by one or play with the rest of the settings if you want to change something. If you're a TrueStorms user, I suggest you go to Climates in the menu and change the setting to Hybrid. Leave the transition value between the weather mods at 5 and select Spring. Spring. 
And that's it guys, hope this tutorial was helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. If you have a question about the installation, you can join our Discord channels. If you want to see more mod lists in the future and keep this project alive, please support us by donating. I will leave all the links in the description below. Also please show the support to Looping, an original author of Natural Atmospheric Commonwealth and Photorealistic Commonwealth who made this weather, lightning and EMB possible. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in another one. Stay awesome!